This is amazing. Introducing Autogen Studio, user interface for Autogen. Here you can create skills, create agents, and then create workflows. Not only that, you have a playground to run agents, generate images like this, and publish these interactions in the gallery. So you can view that later. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen Studio, a user interface update for Autogen. There are many updates. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install and use this interface. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. So the first step is to create and set up virtual environment. It's conda create hyphen autogen studio python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate autogen studio to activate the virtual environment. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now pip install autogen studio and then click enter. This is the package required to run autogen studio. Next type autogen studio space UI hyphen hyphen port and then 8081 and click enter. Now our autogen studio is running in this URL. I'm going to open this URL and I'm inside the user interface. I've already covered this in the previous video in more detail step by step. I will also link that in the description below. This is the updated version. So the installation step is new compared to how it was before. Here mainly we have three tabs. One is build, then playground and gallery. Build is the place where you can create skills, agents and workflows. If you go to skills, you can add new skill by clicking the new skill icon. Here you can give a title to the skill. I'm giving a name as cat ASCII generator. Creating a skill is easy where you define a function, describe what the function does, finally execute the function, generate images and then close it. This is similar to function calling in OpenAI. I'm going to click OK to create the skill. You can see the skill got created and you can see the code here. One function defining what function that is and then executing that function. Now I'm going to agents tab. Here you can create as many agents as you want. I'm going to create a sample agent where you can customize, give a system message, define what model to use. Here I'm going to use GPT-4 Turbo. You can even use your open source large language model. I've already covered step by step on how to set up open source large language model in a different video. I will also link that in the description below. Once after you add the model, click add the model and it will be ready to use. Next, you can add skills. I can add the recently created cat ASCII generator and click the add skill button. There are predefined skills in this like generate images. I can also add this skill to the agent and click OK. Now we have the agent created. Similarly, we can create workflows. Workflows are nothing but agent to agent interaction. Clicking the new workflow button and giving a name for the workflow, default agent workflow. This is where you make two agent talk to each other and perform a task. As of now, Autogen Studio can only run two agents at a time, but soon we'll be able to run multiple agents together. So here we have user proxy agent and primary assistant agent. I'm going to add skills, cat ASCII generator, generate images, and then click OK. Now I have created default agent workflow. Now I can use this default agent workflow in the playground. If you could click the playground, in the left hand side, I'm going to choose the workflow. I'm going to choose default workflow. Then I'm going to ask create a cat ASCII image and then click enter. And here the ASCII image of a cat got generated using the skill which we have created. Next, I'm going to ask paint a picture of a glass of Ethiopian coffee freshly brewed in a tall glass cup on a table right in front of a lush green forest scenery. This is going to use another skill which is generate images. And here is the image. This is beautiful. We can even save this conversation by clicking the publish icon in the left hand side. As soon as you click, this conversation will get stored in the gallery section. So click the gallery tab and there you can see our conversation getting stored. As simple as that. This is just a quick update from the previous Autogen UI, which I published previously. Slight modification in the user interface and then a different way to install the current Autogen Studio. I hope you like this video. I'm going to create more videos like this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.